salmon belly. When you have your whole side of salmon, this is literally that thin flappy bit which goes round the, round the salmon and, and is round here. So usually it gets chopped off. See in the supermarkets you have a lovely beautiful salmon fillet which is you know fairly even in thickness. This is the bit off the end of that. We want to do like a salmon belly wellington. So I'll just show you what we're going to do prep wise. So you're going to try and remove the sinew from the top by taking off as little bit as little of the meat as possible. So with a lot of these byproducts, you know, there is actually a fair amount of prep that you need to do to get a usable product out of it. So take a knife and just run my knife between the meat and the, and the skin, holding the skin tight and then with the very tip of the knife, just going all the way down. What I have here now is a beautiful bit of pure salmon meat. As you can see, it has a lot more white sort of flecks in it, which is actually like the fat of the salmon. It's just that it actually melts in your mouth a lot more because, as I said, it has that like slight more fat in it. The first samples we got was, was, were terrible. Before it was always just a waste product. So like we, we basically had to keep ordering a kilo every day to try and get the guys to respect the product. And then, and then we, we're getting to a point now where you know, it's, it's coming in a lot more consistent. So I've got my salmon belly that we just, uh, we just went through. So I'm just going to pop that into my mixer. Whoa. So just keep an eye over ice. So that it's really important that with the salmon, with the when you make a mousse, you need to make, keep it really cold. I froze the salmon and I froze the jerk. All right. So it needs a good bit of salt. I right here I've got some cooked spinach which I've dried off. I've got some blanched tarragon, and I've got some chopped shiitake mushroom. So we're going to put that in there. I'm going to put a little bit of ground white pepper. I don't want the colour to be affected too much. A little bit of shiitake mushroom puree. Add a really nice richness. And again, just beat that up. So that's now ready to go. It's going to spread about a one centimetre layer across the bottom. So it's going to put another about a centimetre layer on top of the salmon. This is the first time we're doing this, so God only knows what's going to come out. Cool. So now we're going to attempt to roll it. Might even uh, double crep this bad boy. Perfect. Fucking massive. I'm trying to set it in the fridge for a bit. So this should set in the fridge. So I've got my chilled Wellington mix there. Now I'm just going to egg the sides here to stick the pastry. To be honest, I've probably got a bit too much pastry here, but we'll give it a go. Oh, I've never made a Wellington before, so we'll see how this goes, but... Definitely got too much pastry. Now we're just going to pop this back into the fridge to chill and then we're going to look at baking it later on tonight. Pop it in now. Just pop, popped it on a tray to get the bottom uh, start cooking really quickly. 
and then I'm gonna take it off the tray, put it directly onto the rack. Probably, probably about 35 minutes in total, I reckon, but see how it looks after 25 and then go from there. Looks nice. Hopefully, hopefully the cooking is going to be really good. So I'm just going to cut into it now and uh, give it a little taste. It's not bad, is it? I don't really know what I was expecting. To. <laughs> Ferg, me and Ferg are going to try it. We were supposed to wait for Will, but we couldn't really wait, so he's going to go for it. Look, the salmon's actually not. It's cooked all right. I think, I think a lot more moose than that. Yeah, a bit more moose and a bit more... Um, a bit less salmon, a bit more moose. Pastry's pretty good. The fattiness of the belly kind of gives it a really nice moisture and really nice kind of texture. Yeah, like it's quite like flaky and fatty. Yeah. Um, it's definitely different to your um, normal Wellington. Mm. You definitely know it was different, that's the thing. It's actually not that bad. I think the mousse is quite good, but you need a little bit more, it's a little bit more acidity, right? Yeah, I reckon a bit more lemon. Maybe just fresh yeah. lemon zest, because when you cook it, you don't use that fresh. Yeah, freshen, freshen up the mousse a little bit. But no, I mean, the idea is quite not bad. Pretty good first attempt, anyway. Yeah, not bad. For a byproduct. Pretty good, pretty happy with that.